Hey, what's up you guys? So I'm going to do a quick anatomy tutorial today. It's going to be on the arm and I'll show you guys some common mistakes people make and especially for me when I first started I made a lot of these mistakes myself and I know a lot of people struggle with them and ask me how they can fix it. Of course it's not something you have to do but um, it, it, it helps a lot so I'll show you guys. So I'm going to start out by creating a basic arm shape like, like that. Um, okay so you're going to see I just drew a circle in for the shoulder it's kind of a tube for the for this area the upper arm there's a ball for the elbow and then for the forearm it's just going to be another tube like that okay so it's just going to be really simple i broke it down into basic shapes for you guys um so it's easier to understand a common misconception is for anatomy is I used to draw it so that um, the muscles round out like this and um, it just bubbles around like this and this really gives it no um, rhythm and just kind of looks like connected blobs so so this is how I used to draw an arm I just made it bulge out all over here um, let me draw those in for you guys yeah, so this is how you used to draw an arm, but if you want to draw a really um, dynamic, good-looking arm that's also like anatomically correct, you're kind of going to want to put some rounded edges or rounded shapes as well as some hard edges. So here I have the same thing as before. You can see there's the circle. There's that tube over there, that's the elbow, and there's the forearm. So what I'm going to do this time is, I know my shoulder is actually going to connect into here, so the muscles go like this. So it, it's similar to this, but they go in there, because um, if you can look at the shoulder, the muscles actually go inside over here and they don't just go along the outside so once they go in the inside you can layer the triceps over them and if you look at the triceps it it's really not even with the bicep the tricep it's supposed to look kind of like this when it's well well over here the biceps going to be flexed so the tricep will look something like that and over here after the tricep ends, we're going to add a straight line over here around where the elbow is and for the bicep, we'll kind of just curve around like this. So, and uh, that's where the um, pectoral muscle is. So as you can see, it's already a bit more dynamic. I'll draw in these arrows you kind of see how they move and notice how the tricep and bicep they don't just go like this it's it's kind of more like that kind of that shape instead of just these rounded I don't know, like parentheses or something so moving on to the forearm we have we have a little bump over here and you can just draw a straight line over here and add something like this. So as you can see, this is already a lot more dynamic and you can see that there are some straight lines over here. And this part straightens out again, instead of just this where everything bubbles around. So that's a common mistake I know a lot of people struggle with and, and I used to do the same thing too. So. I'll show you guys again with a straighter arm, um, like this.
So the thing I used to do was same thing over here. I would bubble in these parts. And it would look really just flat and yeah, I just didn't like it. And you got to understand that the arm, it's not just this entire thing isn't a cylinder. The the bicep actually comes like this. So so when you're drawing looking straight at the bicep, it's flatter, but when you're looking at it on the side, it's going to be more like that if okay. So let me see if I can explain it another way. So here's an arm at its side like over here. It's that's the shoulder and the bicep will look kind of like that, okay? But when you turn it around over here, when you're looking at it straight on from here, the arm will look something like this. The shoulder looks like this instead since you're looking at it from this angle. And then we'll go in here and the bicep will actually look very skinny like this, it's not going to bulge out the side or anything. If anything, you're going to see a little bit of the tricep over there, and that's about it. So if you're looking directly at the, at the arm straight on, you're not going to have something like this for the shoulder. Instead, you're going to have something like this. So I drew that in, the shoulder. Uh, I'll just draw a simple triangle for the shoulder since that's like the basic form. Over here it's going to be the bicep, it inserts right here. Those are the two connecting points. Here I'll just draw the hex and the arm will kind of like flare out over here. So that's an arm facing directly towards you, just the basic shapes. So. Yeah, I hope that helps a bit. Um, here, I'll also draw a torso over here. Just a super basic one. Maybe I'll put some pectoral muscles there, like a rib cage. And I'll draw arms on both sides, and you can really see a dramatic difference when I actually use this method versus when I did what I used to do, which is kind of bubble in all the muscles and not really focus on the forms. So I'll do that real quick with two arms. Kind of know where it is. The first one I'm going to do the, the way I used to draw, which is a common mistake a lot of people ask me about and like how to fix it. So. So you can see that that's fine. You can see kind of like there's muscles there, but it it doesn't really look realistic at all. So, so if you want it to look more realistic, you draw on the shoulder like this. It's kind of like a triangular cap. You have the bicep over there. You can see a little bit of the tricep, and see and the form kind of flares out like that so yeah um, I hope those comparisons help and yeah I already showed you guys the ones on the side and you really don't want curved shapes for all of them because then it's gonna look um, not as dynamic over here you can see it's curved it's straight it's somewhat curved and triangular and then it's straight again so that gives a lot more movement and there's a strong contrast between curved lines and straight lines so you kind of want to vary that a bit because it will give your drawing some more motion and all that so yeah try it out I hope that helped and yeah if you guys want me to do another body part for anatomy just let me know in the comments and yeah I'll see you guys next time